Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Investigation with your girl, Chanel Black. Okay, today we are still investigating because we got to hit hard. We got to hit hard when we on a case, okay? So, I'm still investigating the case of Twitch, Steven Twitch Boss, okay? And so, we're going to move on to the next person of interest. It's Miss Ellen. Now, from what the eyes can see, okay? Speaking of eyes, have y'all ever just really looked at Ellen up close? Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hmm. Look. Hmm. Oh, give him up there. Give him up there. Hmm, that's with filters. Because some of the other pictures weren't so great. I'm like, girl, I ain't going to even do her like that. I don't know who posted those pictures of Ellen like that on the internet. I said, I'm going to pick one that's decent. Okay. That, that's that's the true. Okay. Because some of the pictures that's from my show is just too filtered, girl. But it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter about looks. Okay. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm not saying anything. But I'm just saying, I didn't just never look at her up close. Okay. I don't think I ever had an up close and personal look. So. I just want to make sure y'all have one, okay? But anyway, uh, I'm investigating, girl. Let's stay focused, okay? So, we call Miss Ellen in because she has been showing a lot of love to Twitch. And I just want to see if she, you know, got any more information she would like to share with the public, okay? Today. So, we're going to pull some cards. And definitely make sure you stay tuned to the end, girl. Because it get real good at the end, honey. Because we be just warming up at the beginning. We just be warming up. Okay, so let's get started. So let's see, where are the cards I'm going to pull today? Okay, yeah, I want to start off with these little cute cards right here. We're going to see what they have to pull, okay? Because, honey, if it's love, it's love, girl. We should see some flowers, some bouquets, some, you know, some hearts, some love, girl. That's what we should see, okay? We should not be seeing no devil energy, okay? Right, right? We together we're on this, okay? So, we're looking for true love. So, divine angels, if you will, please give me the best cards from this, this deck to describe the energy of Ellen DeGeneres and Stephen Twitch Boss. Okay. At the time of his passing. Let's say that. Uh-oh, the cards got loud. Y'all saw my, the car start the trip. Okay, let's get into it. Uh-oh. We got the anchor. Is that good? Got somebody holding somebody down because of kids. Okay. Can y'all see these cards, girl? So we got the anchor. Okay. I feel like let me see if anything else wanna come out for Ellen and how she, her feelings for Twitch at the time of his passing. Don't try to control my reading, sis. Okay? That's why you try to stop this from coming out. Now, I'm going to put it to the side. But it definitely tried to come out. And you try to put it back in. Girl, don't. So, we got the anchor here. I don't know if somebody was holding somebody down. Okay? This can speak of maybe some type of... Well, of course, traveling. You know, traveling... They probably like to travel together. But the anchor always give me, you know, it holds you back, holds you down. Okay. Maybe she held him down. Okay. But, you know, which way is it? Did she hold him down because she made sure that he had a good life and he had good opportunities? Because I feel like they had real good chemistry together. And, you know, but girl, one thing I know about certain people, honey, certain people. That look like Ellen. They'll sit there and smile in your face. I mean, with smile in your face at work. If you're working in corporate America, you know. They'll smile in your face like everything is all great. And the whole time they go behind your back and be lying on you or telling stuff. And, and it's like, girl, why is you smiling in my face if you know you're going to be trifling? It's like, just avoid me or just don't talk to me at all. But it's, it's the uh, the smile and like the fakeness that I can't stand. But they think they think it's just being nice. Like, I'm just being nice and keeping a great workplace. You're not keeping a great workplace if you're gonna go snitching and talking, adding extra stuff, putting um twenty on ten. Okay, that's not helping. Because when I find out, girl, things ain't girl, 
Okay, let's move on, girl. So, but then we got child here. Like they playful, you know, maybe get along. It's, it says innocence, okay? Truth, okay? Curiosity. It could be immature as well. You know, they like to have fun together. Then we got the lady here. Significant, okay? Significant other. This could be a friend. This can be somebody that's... Um, Yeah, this speaks of a friend, um, pretty much. But then we got this fox energy here with deception, treachery, uh, conniving energy. Very clever energy. Skills. Okay, this can also be using your skills to kind of be sneaky. Again, just give me that corporate America type of thing. You know, you sm smiling in your face all the time wanting to take my plays. Okay. But then we got this energy that wanted to come out, but didn't come out, but wanted to come out, but did come out slightly. It speaks about a transformation in the grave. And this could be also be mourning, okay? She mourning the innocence of her and his relationship. But let's make sure it's all the way innocent, honey, with this little sneaky, this little sneaky little energy here. Okay. Let's see what cards can tell me something good. Let's just go to the tarot, honey. So, let's see. Let's just pull overall energy from the tarot. Give me the overall energy for Ellen DeGeneres and Twitch Boss relationship when he passed away. We got the eight of eight of swords, seven of wands, the page of cups, and a chariot. Okay, there was some type of frustration, mental frustration, maybe even some type of okay, because it's giving me frustrating. I want to fight you, but I think this came out in between. So we got um, a young woman to 25 years old with basic good news coming in with a with news, and then feeling bound and gagged. Okay, not speaking about something. Somebody feel like they was bound to gag, couldn't speak about something, and they left them frustrated. So what they did, they put the blinders on so they couldn't see anymore. Or so that, you know, but it's like you can free yourself at any time, but you want to stick around because we got we got we got care here and feelings here, but it's like the bare minimum. But you know, it's a cup. It's a cup, girl. And then we got the but it was also some frustration here. So it's like you frustrated because this person giving you a little cup and a little love, but you're taking all this eight of swords and this seven of ones energy in the workplace. Okay. So I feel like you was frustrated. It said, but you're able to overcome your frustrations. You're able to, you you are on top of the situation. Yeah. As long as you're dancing and performing, you're good. So it's just like, you know, with this image, I feel like Twitch had to put on a lot of blinders to be in this relationship with Ellen. You know, and, you know, she was given in the middle. She was given this one cup, you know, with this immature type of energy. But it's like, but do I have to deal with all this stress and frustration? I miss frustration on both ends from the beginning to end just for this little, this little cup that you're giving me. Nah. And then we got the chariot here, which is about, you know, moving forward or movement of resident. Again, we're talking about somebody moving. Okay, because it always keep on coming up in every reading I do with Twitch. Somebody's moving. Somebody's moving away. Okay. And it's like they want to move homes. They want to move out of their home and into a new home, you know, for a journey, a victory over a situation or a problem. Oh, oh, they, oh, it sounds like he tried to get away from a situation because all this frustration and work, probably things that he know over here, holding him back, holding him down. Okay. And then we got this chariot. Like, it's like the, you moving forward fast with victory, but it's like, you got to move fast on a motorcycle. You got to move fast solo. You know, you, it's like, you got to creep through. 
because you're trying to get victory over a problem or a situation. And then you're trying to balance out the opposite polarities here. So how did you balance it out? What did you do? Okay. How did, El how did Ellen balance out this um, problem? If there was a problem, how did, how did she balance it out? See how Ellen decided to balance out this problem if she have if she is the one with this problem because it could be Twitch trying to move. Up. I feel like he was trying to move away because he was trying to balance out the issue because this one little bitty cup she given. Now she got ten cups she can possibly give, but you're giving this one little cup for all this drama, and it's like I got to move away fast. We got this Ace of One energy. Somebody wanted a new beginning, okay, and it's like they were coming up with new creative ideas to try to get away with it to kind of like. You know do whatever he wanted to do or she wanted to do it's also about being creative a creation or the birth a birth of something a birth of an idea a birth of a kid the fool we got good friends happiness needing to take a a giant leap forward some okay somebody took a leap forward um wanted a new start with the zero they wanted a fresh new start again we got the seven of swords with so, okay, so it's like how did Ellen try to balance out the opposite, this issue? It's like she wanted a new beginning here. And she wanted, and she felt like that they were good friends. You know, and she wanted to move forward and, and start over. But then, girl, look what we got here. Sneaky energy, again, that corporate America energy. It's like plans and hopes, but, you know, and trying to, you know, give somebody so much hopes and dreams, okay? Yes, we can type of energy and then nothing get done it's like when, when the can gonna start it's like yes we can't cannot you have not done anything but okay let's focus it says plans hopes wish card okay it's like the highest minor arcana it's like somebody being sneaky here somebody being sneaky in the background okay playing somebody like a fool we got these little circus tents in the back okay but then somebody thinking they being sneaky but then at the same time they're kind of leaving I don't know if they leave a little trails like, oh, I was so sad today. You know, if you read, if you Google her name today, it's like, Ellen was so sad while she ate her bagel for breakfast. Oh my God, Ellen looked so blue when she was walking her dog. It was like, are you serious? You wrote a whole article about that. Okay, girl, it's like, it's, it's overdoing it for me. Okay, but it's like, you know, selling somebody a dream. Smiling in their face, but you're giving like still. Uh, let's start over, fresh start, you know. But it's like somebody wanted to get away from some type of energy, this sneaky old energy. Okay, then we got Judgment Day, girl. Decisions are a pending finality. The only decision that can be made under these circumstances. Okay, Judgment Day. Somebody feeling judged. Somebody about to blow the whistle, blow the horn. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, I got her new beginning, new start, but then being sneaky. Okay, judging somebody. Then we got the Knight of Pentacles with the man to 25 years old visitor, a message to share to the Queen of Pentacles, a woman over 25 years old with dark eyes, dark hair, professional business, and domineering. And Ellen said she just paid somebody to do the to do the job. That's how she took care of it. She wanted a new beginning. She put on the smile, the smile, and the um, you know, tell because she didn't want somebody. She didn't want. It seems like she didn't want um, what's his name? Twitch to leave because and so she created some type of sneaky energy. Honey, set the plans, pay somebody, made an offer. And then, girl, and then sitting here crying over her bagel. I told you, sad over her, be her bagel. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more about this energy. Tell me more about this. 
because look how it falls like this sneaky energy over this grave okay i just want to know what is this sneaky en energy in the middle it's like being very sneaky off offering very bare minimal okay give me more about this seven of swords energy what's this seven of swords energy here bro Okay, so it looks like we got somebody being at home again talking about a home it's like a staycation a vacation spent at home enjoying local attraction mini vacation but you're on the budget honey girl if you don't do right by Ellen you're gonna be she's gonna take away your look the little opportunity she did give you here okay if you speak about any of this energy right here I'm gonna find out what this energy is that's, that was holding this man back okay well, he wanted to move forward but could not move forward okay had to stay home had to stay because of what we got sh slut shaming expressing your sexuality oh somebody wants to express their sexuality um and they being shamed for it and feeling judged hence the judge card shaming feeling judged casual sex a double a double standard honey influencer honey maybe gonna tape you because probably got you videotape baby probably got you cross-dressing having the power to influence monitor your reputation swole mm -mm. hit the gym muscular looking good great body heart heart work physical attraction Girl, somebody done caught somebody working out, girl, and done videotaped it, girl. Somebody, no, somebody was looking good, girl, and and being shamed for their sexuality, and it's like, and it's like it's being held over the head. But I don't know. I wonder did they have a bond, like you know, because they was always so intimate when they hugged and when they embraced. I wonder did she know something about his sexuality that she was hope that she wasn't speaking about okay that that he was being sneaky when he was leaving the house okay but um, a child always come up in in twitches reading okay but then we got this plans hopes you know his wife probably planning and hoping for a kid but then he didn't really want more kids because you know he I don't know if he was questioning his sexuality allegedly or not but it seems like Ellen knew about it and maybe one speaking about it. That's what I'm starting to see here. Yeah, probably knew about him swinging that swinging that one. Child here again. We got the grave. Okay. Let's see if this grave is supposed to be here. Give me more about this grave. What do we need to know about this grave and Ellen and Twitch? What do we need to know about this grave and Ellen and Twitch? Okay, so six of ones was speaking about a letter. I don't know if they're talking about that note that they're saying he left. Ellen, what you know about this note? Okay, the card that hit the floor. So, the grave. It's like a celebration. It's like she victory celebration a note a leather we got security a helping hand with the high priestess very very powerful good or bad secrets gonna be revealed concerning this grave and it's like she know but mm, girl it's giving kind of sacrifice being supported love okay embraced in Hollywood girl weird energy let me pull from this deck and see what this deck has to say about Ellen and then I'm going to pull some cards and see what she would like to say to Twitch because that usually sums it all up girl 
the Ellen Boring. So let's see. Give me the cards from this deck to describe the energy for Ellen the Generous and Twitch. Energy that came out is the call of the night. Okay, again, things that happen in the shadows of the night stays in the night, baby. Just like Vegas. It says daring, adventurous, and very exciting. It's like they had fun together, maybe in the in at night, honey. You know, when this when the moon come out, girl. Got the cats, we got the wolves out, girl. Then we got jealousy. In the punishment change in course. Somebody's jealous. Jealous of who, girl? Don't you got money? Twitch ain't got as much money as you, girl. What, you, what is you jealous of? Or is Twitch jealous? Jealous? He did not look like a jealous person. So, let's see. Let's pull some cards and just see what Ellen would say. What would she like to say to Twitch? Ellen, what would you like to say to Twitch, honey? Here's your chance. Okay, let's see. Girl, you claim you love the boy. That's, that's all you got? Ellen, I'm so disappointed. Okay, well, she just want to keep it simple. She said, you are perfect. Okay, she said, you know, despite the flaws that he may have been hiding, and this, the, despite the flaws that she may have been hiding, okay, and, you know, express your sexuality, okay? Let your freedom flag fly, okay? Because you are perfect. And that's cute. Next. I wish I never met you, girl. We were bad for each other. Girl. Ellen, say something else to this man. What else you got to say, girl? Give me a little bit more. What you got to say to Twitch? Okay. Do you still think about us? Girl, are y'all picking up swingers? Okay. People that just let you like just just we're just living free. We're we're adventurous. We're you know, we're just living free and living wild. You know, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with sharing your bed? You know, that type of thing, okay? But, girl, do you still think about us? Ooh, okay. Girl, that's probably why he ran off. But, okay, let me, let me mind my business. I was young and immature. I don't know about the young part. You're probably immature, girl, because you do be acting immature, but then acting crazy behind the scenes per your um, co-workers, allegedly. Okay. Next, love me. Uh-oh, we got this jealousy. So, like, she was probably jealous of him and his wife and his relationship it wasn't our time Ellen stop because they say girl you know even though you may be lesbian they say sometimes you be one little, little one in your life you know when you when you least expect it okay that's that's why you're here Ellen that's exactly why you're here talking like that okay what what when he least expected you are the one who got away ellen girl we done with you ellen okay you don't know how you feel so that's gonna conclude the reading for ellen girl I'm, I, I can't i can't do another minute okay so um girl catch me on the next one okay talk to you later bye